first and foremost, I would like to say that actually I admire your stand. You know, it's time for new politics. Tapi when when I got this invitation, malangnya, you know, you have uh, heard something which is something which is not verified yet. Okay. Even the title itself, Scandal Tajuddin, that's very malicious already. And then tadi berbuat, uh, berhubung dengan apa yang tadi bersoalkan Olin, uh, saudara wartawan sebentar tadi. Kalau ianya betul-betul skandal, then you should have just gone and made the police report straight away. Or even to SPRM. Kenapa mau sensasi, sensationalize perkara ini sebelum membuat laporan polis? This is Faisal Tajuddin, the son of Prasarana Chairperson Tajuddin Abdul Rahman, who surprised many by showing up at a press conference organised by the Malaysia United Democratic Alliance, MUDA, on the controversy surrounding his father. Faisal also took it upon himself to address some of the issues raised by MUDA. I think today the main focus that you all, you know, I'm also a politician, all right? I know how to sensitize matters. The main issue now, you just want to sensitize the fact that, you know, family members are owning, you know, not 40%. Actually, when you divide the shares accordingly, it's only 20%. 20% stake, duit tak dapat apa-apa pun daripada government, we need to fork out our own money and so far not a single cent has been paid or apa-apa dividend kalau kami dapat, sebab tengoklah masalah ekonomi, we are just like anybody else, any other business people we are suffering as well, yeah The media conference was held outside the Dangwangi LRT station right in front of the commercial building construction site owned by a company linked to Tajuddin's family Muda questioned certain matters that the party felt were not answered well during Tajuddin's press conference yesterday. Among the main issues raised by Muda through its co-founder, Amir Abdul Hadi, was the conflict of interest over Tajuddin's presence at a meeting to discuss the cancellation of a project, which was said to involve compensation of about RM80 million involving the company linked to his family. Muda said they had been approached by several individuals who provided them documents, including minutes of the meeting in question. Taking the microphone at the press conference, Faisal questioned why Muda did not lodge a police report if the party was convinced that there was an abuse of power regarding the issue. He also disputed Muda's claims that the project involved government funds, saying that all payments were fully borne by the company itself.